we're going to discuss about the leech digestive system in structural organization of animals unit 13 chapter 13 in biology leech digestive system already we have discussed about the leech external morphology and today we're going to discuss about the digestive system of the leech which includes the long alimentary canal and the digestive glands so these two comprises the digestive system of leech and this is the diagram this is the picture of the digestive system you can see in the first five segments the jaw is present and the jaw is followed by the parynx next it is esophagus in the eso after the esophagus the crop is seen and the crop contains a crop chamber and you can see these two portion which is called crop diverticula and the next portion followed by the crop is the stomach from the stomach you have the intestine and the intestine is followed by rectum and the last portion the rectum after the rectum is the anus so the alimentary canal starts from the mouth to anus is called the alimentary canal and it is a state tube okay so now we will see the alimentary canal in detail the alimentary canal is a straight tube running from mouth to anus as i explain now and mouth is a tri radiated aperture tri radiated means three rays opening tri radiate means three rays aperture means opening situated in the middle of the anterior sucker so where this mouth is situated means the first the first five segments there is an anterior sucker and in, in the middle of the anterior sucker you have the mouth and it is three rays opening that is tri radiated opening after the mouth there is a buccal cavity small buccal cavity the wall of the buccal cavity has the jaws as we see here no so this is the jaws with a small papilla that is a single row of teeth is present inside the jaw and you have the papilla like structure the papilla like structure which is called the that is a papilla like structure seen in the jaws is the salivary glands okay so the mouth and the buccal cavity is seen in the seen in the first two five segments so the mouth the mouth has a small buccal cavity inside the buccal cavity you have the jaws and the jaws has a single row of teeth and the papilla like structure is seen in the jaws or called the salivary glands so the mouth and the buccal cavity is present in the first five segments now you understand the mouth no now we go to the buccal cavity the buccal cavity is next that is the buccal cavity after the buccal cavity you can see the muscular pharynx so muscular pharynx and it is surrounded by the salivary glands okay and it is surrounded by the salivary glands there is a chamber communication between each chamber there is a sphincter that is a muscular ring like structure that is called the sphincter the sphincter is the adjustment so a valve like structure so in in our home there is a over tank if the over tank is flow means you will adjust that is you will uh, close the valve no like that the natural sphincter are seen in the form of chambers that is present in the circular aperture because the body is segmented in the inner and outer because of that it is circular aperture that is called the sphincter and the there are pair of lateral backwarded and directed cica and this is a blind outgrowth from each chamber known as cica and diverticula so you can see the you can see the crop region so this is the crop region 
with the chamber so the chamber okay this is the chamber and you can see the two diverticula that is called as the crop diverticulum that only here they so the crop and the diverticulum that is the ck portion is called the diverticula or ck the crop and its diverticulum has the blood collection that is large amount of blood is collected in both crop chamber and diverticula and slow digestion is seen in the leech and the last chamber of the crop is followed by the stomach so the last chamber of the crop is followed by the stomach so the stomach leads to the intestine and there is a opening that is there is a small straight like stru straight tube like structure called rectum so the stomach after the stomach the intestine is present and the in from the intestine a small straight tube is seen that is called the rectum so the rectum opens into the exterior that is outer part which is called the anus so now we move on to the food feeding and digestion so the leech feeds by sucking the blood of the cattle and the domestic animals so it is a sanguivorous animal sanguivorous means blood sucking animals so it sucks from the domestic animals and the cattle the blood so during the feeding feeding the that is the leech has to attach it to the victims or the host body with the help of posterior sucker okay the posterior sucker is used for attachment of the host okay or host or nothing but the victim the leech makes a tri radiator or y shape incision so it is a tri radiator that is three rays or a y shaped incision inside the host inside the host strongly okay it is strongly attached okay inside the host in the where the incision it is putting in the skin of the host okay and with the help of the jaws protruded through the mouth with the help of the jaws it was attached to the skin the incision was made y shaped and with the help of the jaws in the mouth is protruded it's putting the jaws inside the skin so the blood is sucked by the muscular pharynx and the salivary secretion is poured so the salivary secretion is poured during that time the muscular pharynx suck the blood from the host the injected blood is stored in the crop chamber and diverting where the where the Uh, blood is stored it is stored in the crop chamber and diverticulum the blood passes okay from crop into the stomach okay and the digestion takes place in the stomach where the digestion takes place in the stomach with the help of proteolytic enzymes so the digested blood is absorbed slowly by the uh, what is that uh, um, intestine it was absorbed slowly and undigested food is stored in the rectum or a rectum and pass on to the anus as waste so the leeches prevent blood clotting so the leeches prevent the blood clotting by secreting that is secreting a protein called hirudin due to this protein only the leeches got the zoological name as hirudinaria granulosa so the saliva that is blood clotting that is the blood our blood will come up outside means it will clot no but the leeches in leeches the blood clotting is prevented okay by secreting a protein called hirudin this they may ask in your one mark in board exam and as well as in neat also you have you can prepare from 10th standard itself for neat they also inject an anesthetian substance that prevents the host from feeling their bite so the uh, when the leech was attached to our body there is no uh, sign of a uh, sign of a um, attachment because we it doesn't have any pain because it creates an anesthetic anesthetic uh, anesthetic 
the, because of the anesthesia, we doesn't know the leech was attached to our body. Not only for us, in the cattle and other domestic animals also. More to known. So leeches do not have ear. So they do not like a, a snake. The leeches also don't have ear. Okay. So they the how they sense it. They sense it through the skin, through the vibration. The skin, the skin has the sense organs. Okay. Because of that, they can able to move on without ears also. And the leeches can have, that is, so cannot, the leeches have 2 to 10 tiny eyes. So, they help to locate their food. Okay. 2 to 10 tiny, tiny eyes. And the leeches sucks the blood. So, 10, that is 5 times more than the body weight of the leech. So, it can able to suck the blood 5 times more than the body weight. It takes more than a year to complete digestion and absorption of a full meal. So, it takes more than 1 year to complete the digestion and to absorb the full meal. What it takes? Because it takes 5 times. More than the body weight of the body weight. Okay. Because of that. It, uh, this uh, digestion is slow. And absorption of the meal takes one year. So now. We can see the segmentation of the leaves. Sorry. Of the leech. The body segments. Totally 33 segments. Anterior sucker. Mouse and eyes are seen from. 1 to 5 segments. And posterior sucker is seen in 27 to 33. And pharynx is seen in 5th to 8th segment. Pharynx is seen in 5th to 8th segment. Crop 9th to 18th segment. Stomach 19th segment. Intestine 10 to 22nd segment. Rectum 23rd to 26th segment. Anus. 26th segment, nephridiophores, 6th to 22 segment, male genital aperture, 10th segment and female genital aperture is the 11th segment. So, if the, from this you can get one mark. Okay. So, hope you understood the topic. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. Give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.